Hey, YouTube. Got a little trick for you. If you have an air mattress with holes in it, like let's say your cat chewed a hole in it or something, like my cat did. Got a nice little hole right there. You can take uh, some stuff you have in your garage probably and fix it. So I had this uh, heat shrink tubing that I took and I cut it, slid it on one side to open it up and I made a patch and I used some of this E6000 epoxy that I think is for plastics. It takes like about 24 hours to dry. But uh, you take some sandpaper, this is uh, 150 grit, and you go around the hole and you sand all this top uh, felt fabric off. Cause it's kind of like, like felt, kind of like plush. You sand it all down around the hole until you get down to the just the rubber only. And then you cut your patch out of this heat shrink tubing, the size you need. And there's a patch right there that I've done last night. And I put glue all around the hole. And then I put my patch down and I put a weight on it to hold it down nice and tight. Because this heat shrink tubing has this, this ridge in it. And it wants to retain that shape. So I have like a little ridge right there you can see. So I put weight down on there to hold it and it dried all nice and tight. And I aired it up. And so far that's holding. Now I'm going to do this hole over here. Is my next next project there. So anyway, I thought I'd save you guys some money if you had some of the stuff in your garage and you could do it yourself.